Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James and this is Astro Motivation where I awaken the astrologer within you and aim to give you a little inspiration and motivation per your unique placement within your birth chart. You know, I really do feel that before time of iPhones and iPads and I this and I that, we were a culture and a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly what the universe wanted from us. And it's with that language and with that knowledge that we were able to look down at our birth charts to see exactly where our dreams were and how to get them. And so if that sounds good to you, Let's get into it. Today we are going to get into Mercury in the 8th house. Now Mercury in the 8th house is going to give me the energy of someone whose mind is always on the deep, mystical, occult secrets of the, the world and the universe. I will really beg the wager that this might be one of my most watched videos because this will satisfy someone with Mercury in the 8th house. But before we go ahead and really dive deep into that very mystical aspect, uh, let's go ahead and separate the aspects. That way we are able to better understand them individually. And when they come up in different parts of the birth chart or in different parts of the world, we are better able to understand them as they come up, all right? So that way, when we see Mercury playing out in the world, we can go, okay, Jupiter James told me that Mercury did this. And when eighth house comes up, we can go, okay, this is giving eighth house energy. Understand? Okay, so for me, as an astrologer, Mercury always shows me what the person's mind is on in this life, all right? What is the subject that if I bring up according to where your Mercury is sitting, that you will just be, you, you could speak about it all night. You could talk about it all day, all night. And you will also be a little bit of kind of like a master in that area because your mind is fine tuned to understand that area of life or that subject or that theme that Mercury is in, okay? So Mercury is all about your speech. It's all about what you talk about. It's all about what you think, what you articulate. It is what you like to, it, Mercury also has a little bit of a sociability factor to it, but not really. We're just gonna focus on the more mental properties of Mercury, but that is what Mercury is. Mercury is that, that planet of your voice and your mind, okay? Your speech and your mental capacities, all right? And wherever Mercury is sitting in the birth chart will show me that if you talk about those things, if you focus on those things that Mercury is sitting in, you will be well received when you talk to, about those things. You will be, um, your mind will be at ease when you focus on those subjects, okay? Now, moving on to the eighth house. The eighth house I like to call our um, first off, the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio, Pluto, and Mars, okay? Um, now, no matter what sign you may have on your respective eighth house, because that can vary and change depending on the rising sign that you have, know that the default out of the packaging sign that governs the eighth house will be Scorpio, okay? And Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars. So those planets and that sign rules the eighth house no matter what your planets may be on your eighth house okay now the eighth house is rules the transformational forces within your life okay this is the house that when you have a big milestone when you go from one chapter to another this is that flavor that will happen this is the energy that happens or the things you learn or discover in those transitionary periods within your life. You know, I like to call it when you are in that valley period, when you are in that unknown period of your life where, you know, you are figuring out how to become an adult from 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 teenagehood to adulthood. You know, when you move out of your family home into your adult home, the eighth house rules that. The eighth house also rules other people's money, joint finances and resources like the money that you will gain from a marriage. It also shows me the um, deep mystical forces within your life, okay? The occult studies and the occult subjects. And depending on the planet and the sign that rules your eighth house, it will show me how adept you are within that of your life. This shows me your psychic gifts, your psychic abilities, okay? Um, and like I said, according to the sign and the planets that are in your eighth house will show me how adept you are within those occult subjects, within spirituality or the innate gifts that you have spiritually and sexually, okay? This is also the house of sex. The planets and the sign on the eighth house show me how you discover sex and how you like to be pleased, how you like to be turned on or what you enjoy when you are bonding on a deep, 
deep level, okay? So the eighth house holds a lot. It really does. It's a very powerful house, and it's also equally mystical and mysterious, all right? A lot of people don't really know what the eighth house is. The eighth house also governs your inheritances, all right? It shows me what you may inherit from the parents and which parent it may be, or if at all, all right? But before we ramble on about the eighth house, let's go ahead and throw Mercury into the eighth house and see what we get, okay? So when Mercury is in the eighth house, this is gonna give me someone who is focused on things like this, astrology. You know, I said in the beginning that I would make the wager that um, these are my people who are probably scouring the internet for information. These people want to know themselves. These people are the people that want to know the buttons and the triggers and the the wires underneath the universe and the world and in people these are my psychics these are my people who really want to just know and more times than not they do these are i'm telling you these are very psychic people these are very spiritual people these are people who really have a keen eye and a keen sense of awareness of what is going on under the surface and their mind is always on it they, they can't unsee it or unthink about it their mind is always in this realm of what is really happening in the world if you ever want to ask for good advice if you ever want to ask someone what may happen in two or three months or in in life these are the people you ask because their mind is fine-tuned to see what is really happening, what's trending, what will mostly likely happen because their mind is fine-tuned to the universe. They get these downloads that just come and it's like they know, like they know, like they know what's gonna happen. They know, like they know, like they know what people's inner motivations are and what people want from them. I'm telling these are highly, highly psychic individuals and they can articulate the best what the universe is what astrology is what these are again you find a lot of teachers and a lot of mystical people have mercury in the eighth because these are the people that are always talking about these subjects and are able to convey the nebulous spiritual messages and information that is out in the universe they're able to ground it, understand it, and then articulate it. You So you see a lot of teachers, a lot of astrologers with this placement. I have this placement, believe it or not. So there you go. Now you understand that, you know, you're, you're looking at one right now. I have Mercury in the eighth house. And so my mind is always on these subjects, always. It doesn't matter what's happening. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. It doesn't matter if the TV is on, if I'm watching Scandal or if I'm watching Baddies West on Zeus Network. I'm always thinking about god in the universe spirituality astrology i'm thinking about you know the occult subjects of the world so this is that placement this is that placement of just you and they know i'm sure if you have mercury in the eighth house you vibe with what i'm talking about you did this channel you vibe you get it you just and it satisfies a part of your brain that wants to know you know, because you, you're gonna be my investigators in the world. These are people who could be very good detectives. These are the people that if they're ever in a relationship and that other person tries to lie to them, don't even try it because you are someone that all you need are like two pieces of information. All you need is two, sometimes one. Really, you don't even need one. You could just feel there's a different way that that person blinked. And because they blinked a certain way, you already know what they're up to. You already know a lie that they're, they're hiding from you. You just, you know. And that's why I say with these people, if they ever get in a relationship, they're, they better be with the most honest person on the planet because you are gonna be somebody that knows people better than they know themselves. You are going to be able to see into the recesses of people's souls, into people's hearts, and understand their motivations as to why they do what they do, even before they do, you know? so. <laughs> don't lie to these people these people know um, so but with this again you could be a great spiritual teacher you could be great in astrology a great detective a great teacher you know teachers that are not even in the metaphysical or within astrology or within occult subjects and sciences you could just be a downright great teacher a great coach someone because think about it in order to teach someone you kind of really have to know right how that person will best receive your words. These people are able to understand 
how to teach people just in general because they understand people they understand psychology these are also my therapists my my psychologists okay anyone who uses their mind to focus on how to handle other people's resources joint finances psychological studies subjects philosophies astrology anyone that is using their mind to do that will and they're using it to the fullest, to the fullest extent, we'll usually have Mercury in the eighth house, all right? This is also for my people who have Gemini in the eighth house, same thing. These are people who really enjoy talking about spirituality and occult sciences and discovering these things on their own because it satisfies their brain, you know, it really does. It's like their brain only wants to think about these things. It only at all times wants to understand the underlying layer of life and the universe. So if this sounds like you, let me know. Are you someone that is always thinking about these subjects? If you are, can you write down in the comments below what the sign on your Mercury in the eighth house is? And I will be sure to write back to you what you could be experiencing with that specific combination, all right? Um, because it'll, it can vary and change depending on what that sign is. But these are people who really really understand the inner workings of the universe and these are this is a very blessed placement it's a very cool placement and a very enlightening placement these are the people that will search and find and understand the inner workings of god in the universe so without further ado i really do hope that this gave you some inspiration motivation with your unique placement within your birth chart if you have a different um a different placement that you want me to cover go ahead and write it in the comments below and i will be sure to add that to the list of videos that i can get out for you guys but um until then i will see you on the next one y'all have a great day bye